Rev match to third. <laughs> no joke. Look at it. Can only be into one thing and that is driving. Man, look at this. We're just gliding over the road. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going for a POV drive in a Renault Sport Megane Cup 250. Some of you know I owned one of these cars a few years back, rated as my all-time favorite hot hatch. Very underrated vehicle, two litre turbocharged, 250 ish horsepower this car is in completely stock form. And we're gonna go for a first impression, it's not gonna be a review, not that I do reviews anyway, but um, I've not sort of reminded myself on the car. It's just a quick little video to just, um, yeah, see what she's like. As I say, I wanna figure out if it still is one of my favorite hot hatches, so enjoy people. Slow me down like speed hump, no. keep up when I speed up. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life. Right, let's straight third gear it. 247 horsepower. Now I can definitely feel the fact that it has 247 horsepower. It's not a great deal of power, is it, in 2022? We've got hot hatches, which you can sort of stage one tune and have four or 500 brake. Some of you will know that it's on the website. Wow, the front end is uh, it's a bit like witchcraft is what we call it. Rev matching is nice, guys, it's a proper driving car. Six-speed manual gearbox, we've got limited slip differential. Felt a bit wavy then, pulling me left and right. Not aggressively, but the camber on this road is obviously pretty bad. Gearbox is lovely, yeah, it effortlessly travels across the road. I'm like not turning the wheel much. Yeah, it just slivers, that's the word, it slivers across the road. Soaking up these bumps really nicely. But first thing from the cabin guys, it definitely feels like a driving focused vehicle, you know, it feels very minimalistic, there's no crazy luxury. Guys, let me tell you, this car is something else. This is one of them cars that you can be a shit driver and this car will have your back. Like it responds so quick to like terrible drivers, should I say. Don't get me wrong, if you drive too fast into a corner, it will rotate from the rear. Man, it sounds nice. I just remember mine now. Mine had a stage one, too. <laughs> Rev limiter. It's really quiet, man. You can hear that exhaust. It's got this Porsche turbo vibe to it. Some of you guys are like, what? Porsche turbo? What are you about, Ricky? But you know that cutting through the air? It's just a nice, to think, 247 horsepower. It's just a nice, usable, like, it doesn't feel underpowered, like, especially on these kind of roads so yeah as already mentioned two litre turbocharged from factory guys they come with a limited slip differential this is the cup version so it's a little bit stiffer than the, the non cars i think 15 percent stiffer so uh for, for daily driving you probably get the other versions uh the other version i don't know what you'd call the other version but usually it does come with these leather seats uh the cups usually come with a cloth seat so i think it would probably be a little bit lighter but there's loads of creature comforts you can see this very simple if you want to call it infotainment system you've got a cd player air conditioning uh, this steering wheel feels nice it's you get a really nice grip on it it's pulling me around left and right and you've got that annoying shifter telling you when to sort of change gear which is i don't know for people that absolutely cannot drive maybe they need that Just rev match to third <laughs> yeah what a cool car man Yeah, my one was stage one tune, so it was apparently around 310 horsepower on a straight like this. This is when, this is when you notice you need power. So as soon as I slipped into third gear, then you feel it pulling me left and right. Look, guys, it's front wheel drive. There's going to be a bit of torque there, but they're definitely ironing this out compared to other cars 
of its generation like the new the new Renault Sport Megane's there like a whole nother level and it's a really nice looking car as well finished in white it's only got 70,000 miles on the clock full service history you pick these cars up for around eight to ten thousand pounds guys driving precision is 10 out of 10 as well nice and low in the cabin visibility is good as already mentioned the steering wheel it's a nice dimension like you get a nice grip on it it is a little bit big like it feels like it's yeah a little little too big um as in visually don't feel too big holding it but it reminds me of the mclaren man a nice thin wheel the beamers i don't know why they go with the thicker side but rev matching is good brakes are good as well so i'm gonna be shocked at how well some of these front wheelies can put their power down so what it is a front wheel drive cars i've already you've probably already heard me complain about a bit of torques there now when you come out of rear wheel drive cars even some four wheel drive cars um you know they, they stay dead straight obviously under acceleration but over time you kind of adapt to that that torque steer it's kind of weird like i remember when i had my focus st initially uh, when i bought that car i was pretty underwhelmed but then like over the next couple of days and weeks it's like my body recalibrated to the style of driving it is a different style you know some people are not going to like that feeling of torques there but i can assure you that you can learn to drive through that torques there and of course you've got to modulate the throttle and and it's crazy man 247 horsepower it feels the perfect amount of power pretty quiet in this cabin as well you just got that nice little cutting sound from the exhaust it's soaking up the bumps nicely and i love just how low we are down in this car We have electric seats as well. I remember mine being manual. Second gear flat. <laughs> it's pulling me around. Let's go first gear. Yeah, it's definitely got an aggressive setup from factory. Could have been missed set up by the previous owner. <laughs> it sounds sick, man. I don't give a F. I mean uh, honestly 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 what is it like um, you know comparing it to my car back in the day now obviously I've driven a lot of Renault Megans on my main car YouTube channel and some of them have had some serious modifications and without fail this has got to be the ultimate base platform to work on if you're planning to build a, a dedicated track car now this car from factory you can definitely take it on track but the the main benefit is you can daily drive you can take it to work it's got excellent fuel consumption it handles well it's comfortable over roads like this it definitely doesn't feel as razor sharp as i remember it being don't get me wrong like if you look at cars of this year i kind of i don't even know what the year of this car is but it'll eat anything alive in its competition but I can, I can assure you that anything from this era will get eaten alive by this Renault. No joke, man. It's another level, and I'm just shocked that more people don't own these cars. This is a car like if you wanna if you wanna learn how to drive, this is the car. Do you know what I mean? They're very reasonably priced. You know, it's French. You know, for me, I never had any issues. You know, of course, it's not the most beautiful design from inside the cabin. But you know, it's the same with the R35 GTR, you know, the build quality is definitely not the, the selling point, it's the drive, man. And for me, 
This is what separates the men from the boys, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I see man driving a McGann Cup 250 or the, the Clio's, I know that, you know, look, you could have chosen so many rivals, but to be driving these, you can only be into one thing and that is driving. Man, look at this, we're just gliding over the road. <laughs> Creek a window down. And the car does feel a little bit wide for some reason. I don't think it is the widest car, but obviously we're low down in this cabin. The brakes are really nice, man. Nice and progressive. You've got um, Brembo brakes all around. These, these are from factory as well. So we are back at the unit. Sorry about that. I think my battery overheated or died. I don't know. Anytime filming forecast, I told you before these GoPros, they just go silly. But uh, yeah, why not do a quick little walk around the Renault Sport Megane Cup 250. You can see it's finished in white, 2011 model. And uh, there were a few versions of this, the 260s, the trophies, I think 265 if I'm correct. You can see we've got the RS emblem there. Xenon bulbs, black Renault badges. We've got the fog lamps down here as well. Definitely a higher spec McGann than the one I had previously. We've got the 19 inch black alloys with Brembo brakes, black mirror caps. We've got Renault Sport decals on the side. Interior wise, we have Renault Sport leather seats, obviously etched into the headrests, six speed manual gearbox, and it is in really good condition. Only around 70, I think 75K on the clock. And of course we've got the central exhaust which in my opinion sounds awesome. And uh, for anybody confused why the RS3 is here, we did a second giveaway on it. And uh, the winner of this car, he actually put his wrong number down. So when we tried to call him on the live, he didn't answer, it was just going through to like, it was just doing that dial tone. But he's actually coming to collect the car in a couple of hours. So I may even film the winner, get, see if we can get a little reaction. Some of these guys don't like to be filmed. Anyone wondering why the M3 is still there, that's because it was a Scottish winner. He actually took the 25,000 pound cash alternative somebody's actually bought this so yeah i think that is the end of the video as always if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys soon thanks for watching bye have the winner sam hawk how you doing sam you all right oh, mate. Yeah, cool good. obviously the live draw we couldn't actually get hold of you. your phone didn't actually go through when did you actually find out you won uh half past 12. half 12 yeah, yeah. someone tagged you yeah somebody tagged yeah. me mate yeah someone tagged you and uh what are you feeling you want to take the car instead of the cash Car, mate. Car, car yeah? Yeah, yeah? Take the car. Wicked. Where are you from again? Uh, Northampton? Northampton, mate. Northampton. Northampton. Is it a dream car, you say? Yes, definitely, mate. Definitely. Yeah. And you went there for the uh, cash as well, went right? For the cash as well, mate. Yeah. Um, for the record, you're not my mate, are you? No, no, <laughs> no. Nah. Everyone's like, it's my. <laughs> five, five tickets, mate. Five, five tickets, tickets, yeah? So that's 10 quid. Just come down with your family as well. For the brothers, the dad. So yeah, there you have it guys, here's the winner. I know a lot of you were like, yo man, what's Ricky doing? Where's the winner? We've got to respin it. Everyone was going mad on the live, honestly. They were like, you got to respin it. You got to respin it. <laughs> mate, you smashed it. RS3 and that. Cheese. Slow me down like speed hum, no. Keep up when I speed up. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. See your girl, she's in my car. Mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel, that's five stars. Yeah. Make the rules yeah. disappear.